facet of it is the fact that that's his character, yes. but he gives us the privilege to be his children. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. The Bible says, for he is our God. Yes. Our yes. plural. Yeah. Our God. Mm. It blows me away mm. that God allows us to be in his royal yes. family. Amen. I don't know about you, but every now and then I look at myself and go, that, that don't even seem right. <laughs> <laughs> that God yes. all right. would decide in all of his holiness and yes. splendor and majesty yes. to treat the word holiness like mm. it's a bad yes. word. Yes. But no, it's precious. It's yes. this passion. It, it describes how caring he is. Yes. He cares enough to correct because he loves us so deeply. Mm. And the fact that he allows us as his children mm. to be in his family. That's all right, Christian. I close with this. My, my dad used to do this to me and my sister at the most unopportune times. <laughs> we would wake up in the morning and he would be up already and sometimes he would pull one of us in front of a mirror and say, what do you see? <laughs> and when you're sleepy and just get up first thing in the morning, you, you, your, all your answers are simplistic because the answer you're giving is really uh, a code for saying, just leave me alone <laughs> and let me wake up first. Yeah. But he would do that. He would say, what do you see? And I was uh, like, I see me. I see you. Like, Try again, boy. That ain't... What do you see? Uh, okay, um, I see your beard. I see, <laughs> I see your big head, my big head. Uh, <laughs> now you got jokes. Uh, no, what, what is it? And he'll uh, say, I want you to see that you are not Alexander, and that means something. All right, all right, that all right. Close something for me to be who I am so that you could be here and be yes. who you are. Yes. And so, I guess he didn't think we got the lesson the first time because he would do that period <coughs> at the most unopportune times. He would bring us right before that mirror and it's like, what do you see? And for the life of me, I, I just wasn't thinking because it took years before I would just say what he wanted to hear. So I was, we start all over again. I would say, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you see. And he would say it again, you are Alexander. It costs right. something to be who yes. you are. It costs people something for you to be here. It yeah. costs and your shape mm -hmm. and your lovely because you are my son. Amen. Where am I going with this? When God says, for we are his children here. When he says, for our God is a consuming mm -hmm. fire. We are made in his image and likeness. He has bestowed holiness on us. And mm -hmm. just because of who he is, we became who we are All right, in sir. Christ. In other words, he gives us our identity. Yes. So even on the days where we don't feel holy, the fact that he Amen. has bestowed holiness yeah. on us should make us worship him and spirit and Amen. truth. Amen. I have to say it this way. What can wash away your yeah. sins? Yeah. Nothing but the blood no. of no. Jesus. Amen. So when he talks about this unshaken king, yes. the writer closes chapter 12 mm. after extensively proving through chapter 11, mm. the heroes and the heroines of faith. Mm. And it really wasn't about them. It was about the faith that allowed them to persevere over obstacles and opposition, trials, and tribulations. Yes. Mm -hmm. He closes here to remind us mm. that what brings us through is the fact that we're under the rule and reign of a kingdom Amen. that the economics and the politics and everything else of this world cannot all touch. right all right all right and so i stand much today and when we begin to wonder where is god hmm. what's happening see it as the world will get more chaotic see it preacher and get more challenge that's right that we that are believers remember mm. that the kingdom that we serve and mm. that we have been given cannot yeah. be shaken. Amen. Yeah. May God keep you and may God continue. Good word, preacher. Good word. Good word.